if uh, in there is a loss in the company in the startup then do we have to pay back or something like that same or we have to book the loss anything like that okay see i'll i'll tell you the zafresh example itself okay <clears throat> so uh, as per the zafresh there is 150 crore worth of they are into fresh meat delivery through an app as per them every city every metro has minimum potential of 150 crores of this you know for each company they have done their research now they are doing 72 crores from one city delhi ncr now they want to start in hyderabad and mumbai now for starting in hyderabad and mumbai they will be needing some funds for awareness of their product because it is an app right and they tie up with suppliers so they don't have to spend there only awareness is required so for that awareness initially you have to do a lot of marketing maybe 5 crore 10 crores 20 crore marketing so they require funding for doing that marketing awareness brand promotion acquiring the customers through digital marketing and thereafter it will be smooth walk for them so for that zap fresh kind of startups they approach us we reach out to the investors investors put in their funds now once you put in funds it is just like the stock market wherein you invest at a low price and you sell off at a higher price right we don't have reverse contracts or something futures and derivatives are not available futures option no concept it is normal just like equity investing you buy shares wait for some time till the, and the difference among stock market and angel investing is by the time a company reaches the stock market it is already inflated pricing huge valuations come up you know the ev is to uh, uh, market price of that particular security will be 21 25 times right but in generally when you invest into startups you get 2 3 times just like in zap fresh 72 crore revenue and uh, valuation is 150 crore so you are tapping it at uh, 2x right but you must have seen you know uh, in red herring prospectus you see dot dot Uh, raising this much amount at this particular dot which is x times of their price or value book value right so generally uh, at the stock market time it becomes really really expensive but they reduce the price of the shares by issuing more number of shares so to retail investors it appears that the share price is 100 rupees and in angel investing the share price is 10000 so angel investors who are smart they understand but retail investors who are investing for first time they don't understand they think uh, 10 rupees price or 100 rupees will be cheap right so it's it is the underlying value which makes it cheap or expensive so generally when you invest into a startup you wait for some time just like stock market in the next round of funding you get an opportunity to exit at a higher valuation because it is it is all more like a if you buy a plot right people will come to you and may say that they also want to buy from you at a lower price you will say i will not sell so your price control is under your control for your plot you will not sell off at a lower price and that is why the valuations of startups generally don't go down right most of the time out of 1000 times 999 times the valuation will never go down because that is controlled by the founders they will not accept any money at a lower valuation even government creates a lot of issues why you have accepted money at a lower valuation so valuation will definitely go up unlike stock market where the market is fluctuating now your question was what if the if the company gets into losses will you yeah. have to bear loss no you don't have to bear loss your loss is limited to the capital that you have invested and for that capital protection also we have the agreement with the founders so technically you are not losing out anything but it will be wrong to say that risk is not there risk is always yeah. there